Many thanks to Pandemonium, Fairless Rex and Vanilla Servers, Atlas, One Original Daisy Servers, Clash Vanilla Servers, Sheriff Line, Sauerkraut, Sergeant Purpose Daisy Invasion Server, PGZ Servers, Waste Sea, Chinese Cream Vanilla Servers, and Tequila for making this video possible. Daisy 1.24 has simplified tree hitboxes, but at the same time added huge hitboxes to these trees, resulting in more deflection from my shots, bullets doing less damage, and in some cases reducing the protection properties of items entirely. So in this video we're going to investigate these changes and go over why we need to be very careful about shot placement inside forests. Bush hitboxes haven't changed this patch, but tree hitbox shapes have been greatly simplified, increasing the performance of servers and players, with this mostly having an effect on console players. For players especially, this has amplified performance greatly when it comes to shooting through these trees due to the amount of bullet splashes that you will see, because they only appear when a bullet hits a surface. On top of this, the bullet splash effect on foliage has changed from this dusty looking effect to this explosive leafy diarrhea effect, which can give away your position now due to the distance that these travel. This effect, according to the game files, is four times larger in size than last patch, but eight times less complex, resulting in the third reason why performance will be better in this patch. However, given that these trees didn't have foliage hitboxes in the last patch, and they do now, you could say that some performance has been reduced because of this, and you will do less damage to players in forest from now on. Both bush and tree foliage hitboxes stop flares and smoke rounds in their tracks completely. You cannot penetrate any hitbox with these two rounds, with low velocity projectiles having a hard time getting through too. However, these new hitboxes on these trees slow down projectiles less than bushes do. So as you can see here, rubber shells get stuck inside these bushes, but inside these new tree hitboxes, they go straight through. This applies the damage to bushes reduce damage more than these new hitboxes do, but only a little bit of energy is lost, even when using the weaker ammo types. This damage reduction is extremely minor and becomes pretty much non-existent with higher tier weapons that provide a lot of penetration power. Nonetheless, you technically do less damage shooting through any hitbox in DayZ. This is very noticeable when it comes to explosives, which all have low penetration power, making bushes and trees lifesavers the thicker that they are, or the more bushes that that explosive has to penetrate. And especially if you get behind the trunk in the middle of the tree, you are not going to die due to any explosive. These trunks have always been extremely difficult to shoot through, even on the smaller sized trees, these trunks are very bullet resistant. So be aware not to shoot the center of mass on these tree types, otherwise your damage will be completely tanked with most weapons, but even the weapons that can penetrate, the damage on the other side of this will be much lower than before. Another way that foliage hitboxes reduce damage is deflection, with these new hitboxes deflecting bullets just as strongly as bushes do. This is most common on high deflection stat ammo types, shown here you can see the stats, so mostly it's pistols and SMGs that are going to have this problem, but you can still have a deflection happen when it comes to high powered weapons. On top of this, you won't be able to see the angles of this hitbox like I can. This is a very rigid shape, it's not a perfect cone. So my advice, if you are shooting through these trees, don't shoot center of mass to avoid the bullet resistant trunk, but also don't shoot too far to the edge to avoid deflections. If you are going to shoot through them, be aware that your accuracy will be greatly affected when it comes to low caliber rounds, and any round in Daisy can actually be deflected when it leaves the hitbox. The slower a bullet leaves a hitbox, the more likely it is to deflect in a random direction, therefore your accuracy is greatly affected. This won't happen much when it comes to higher calibers, but this shot from 800 meters with the blaze proves that you can use high caliber rounds when it comes to these new tree hitboxes. Finally for damage changes, they fixed items not tanking bullets inside foliage hitbox, so items on the floor will now protect you from bullets inside trees or bush hitboxes, but handheld items still will not protect you. For example, when holding a plate carrier, you can tank low caliber rounds from the front and the AKM can actually get through this and damage you. It takes a few shots to KO you, but when you're inside a bush, the plate carrier believes that it's now a bush and the plate carrier has the surface properties of the hitbox that it's inside of the bush, which results in a one hit KO, as you can see here. Collision hitboxes in forests have been smoothed out so vehicles can pass over them much easier this patch with this hitbox in particular of this dead tree being removed entirely. Be aware that bushes can be driven through like last patch but these small trees cannot. These are very difficult to distinguish between different types of bushes so just basically avoid bushes if you can unless you know exactly how to identify this certain bush because this one has a solid piece of wood in the middle. 
This applies to players too, so whatever a vehicle can collide with, so can a player, with many collision hitboxes being removed from trees, so you no longer can climb them as easily, appearing to only have collision on the branches now. When cut down though, all collision hitboxes get removed from trees, every single one, meaning that cars can sail straight through any part of a tree that's downed, but in doing so, players can hide inside the trunks now, which may need a fix given how exploitable this is in third person and first person. For now, if you see a down tree, assume a player is inside or inside the trunk, especially the larger tree types. This won't be possible on the smaller ones, but the larger ones, it's very easy to do. If you want to learn more about the other changes in Daisy 1.24, check this video. Let me know your take on these changes below. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.